go ahead into the game, man. I'm excited to see the lane oh, configurations for this one. Yeah, let's see. First game oh. of the day. 1-0 na po tayo because of difficulties. Next play, Evos versus Blacklist International. Let's center the land okay. of dawn. And it's going to be a jungle Uranus. Yep. Uh, I wish I said this as an option earlier, but yes, jungle Uranus. So, same idea as having a jungle tank. And for Blacklist International, readjusting their approach to this uh, to this game, wherein yung digi nila mag-uumpisa sa gold lane para matulungan si Owl. And that's gonna force a reaction by Cadenza. Oh wow, Owl, significantly low in the gold lane. Nice rotation galing kay Cadenza. Ngunit tignan nyo, mga bomba ng Reyna. Napakasakit sa bot lane. I feel like that will force out a donut to recall, no? Because this is 50 HP. Magkamali ka lang ng tapak. Nahihirapan ka na. And in the mid lane, of course, he any case. Oh no, wait lang, Cadenza making a play. Oh. First blood goes to next play, Eagles. And Lolita... Ever since the M3 World Championship, nakita natin ngayon kung bakit naging magandang option siya dahil sa pagbalik ng mga marksman option, the Guardians Bulwark is strong pero si Haji delikado sa mid lane. Nice flame shot though, hinahabol pa rin si Haji. But here comes Wise with the Paquito, left-handed punch at mukhang hindi naman ata papatol pa. And that's a nice defensive play coming in from Haji. The flame shot coming in clutch, munti ka na siya dun. Oh, uh, Cadenza. Good thing that he adjusted his rotation as well na magiging two-man gold lane matchup ang makikita natin. You just have to be careful with the bombs and the pullbacks from the diggy. But good thing Oh My Venus picked up the Aegis as well. So in case na mahuli lang si Al, may extra shield siya. Apple P siya, munti ka na mahuli sa mid lane. Yelle Hayes, muntika na siyang matamaan doon ng isa pang sapak Pero Flicker is burned, so worth it naman ang pag-dive ni Wise doon sa mid lane Turtle is already up, but I'm seeing a play in mid lane, no? Puntaan natin agad yan And Haji, he's Hit already man. 10 HP Rene J, coming in with the kicks, it's a 4v1 oh, It's going to the queen, it's a 1-1 kill score Flame shot mo na kay Dominic, hindi tumama And this might just be the first turtle of the game going to the hands of Blacklist International Slight movement readjustment by Haji. Muntika na siya pick off ni Rene J. De Villa Bacarse. We know him as the hitman playing right now for NXPE. Could have been a really great pick off, but it was a great sidestep by Haji. Salik Imam para maiwasan ang si Pani Joe. Yeah. And you know, yung ganong klaseng play, uh, risky talaga yun. Pero alam naman natin that Rene J. loves those risky plays. Kaso nga lang, pag hindi gumana ganun, Nare-reward ang kalaban and Turtle goes to the hands of Blacklist International. Ang ating gold score ay 600 or 800 pa lang naman lamang ang Blacklist International. So kaya pa naman bumawi ng NXPE dito. But in terms of power spike, Renmar, ano ba ang kailangan nating abangan? Dahil mukhang ang main carry dito ng next play Evo sa si Donut on this 1-1. Yeah, Donut and Rene J. Titignan natin. Of course, the timing of Apple Peach as heart guard kung saan siya sa Sanib. Oreshi on that Uranus, of course, will be oh, a difficult insane. target to retry against. Pero Haji at Wise in the mid lane. Huling huli ang Angela. Man, yung Angela, dahil nga na-burn yung flicker kanina, they're keeping the pressure up and tuloy-tuloy talaga ang pagpasok ni Wise sa mid lane. Ang hirap iwasan ng mga ganong klaseng ability, especially if you're looking at a Haji Kagura na talaga namang aggressive kung aggressive, pero kaya din naman maging disiplinado. Short 1v1 here in the top side. Feeling ko mahirapan si Ren J dito makipag-trade dahil obvious yung kalaban. Oo. Bottom lane rotation, 4-man by Blacklist. Oh no, Cadenza, 3 ports on his HP. Now, Donut, may ulti pa naman, pero mukhang titigilan niya muna ang pag-giging agresibo against his lane matchup. And now, Wise is actually trying to jungle inside the enemy jungle. And I feel like ito yung kalamangan na pakito bilang an S-tier jungler. Ready, J, it's a 2v1. My back, karoon niya ba ng hard cards na ko? Bumagsak na naman ang gitnaan. 0-2-0, now si Ureshi, half HP, makakapag-regen ng konti dito, 4 people, so make that 5 people from Blacklist International rotating mid lane to top lane para sa third set. Ureshi, pang ma-retry nyo ito, tignan natin, battle, oh, pero nakuha pa rin ni Wise, 
Del Rosario and the Imam working together to take down Barcarce in the mid lane. Pero si Cadenza, delikado. Nako, Cadenza, 50 HP. Pero mukhang matatorn around play yata ni Donut. Nagahanap siya dito ng crossbow of Tang. Oh, oh. Stars guard. No reset just yet. Puno na naman kanyang HP dahil sa love of waves. At walang makakakuha ng kill sa labanan na yun. Si Donut may corrosion sites na... Ah, na siya, pero para maramdaman pa talaga natin ang damage ng 1-1. Kailangan pa niya ng mga items. Owl and Donut, with the assistance of their position 5 roamers, nakapag-farm silang dalawa, pero 3-man rotation para Blacklist! Oh no! Look at the damage coming in from Haji, pero boy, bakit naman si Donut si Cadenza na lang ang natin. Oh, what a block! HP on Cadenza, at para kapag-flicker pa nga, here comes Wise with the kill, with the jabs, that's a double kill for Wise. No, a triple kill pa nga, plus... The orange buff na mananakaw din niya Blacklist International Very ahead in the early Blue team hero has been slain Padenza Feeling ko si Donut sobrang saya dun kanina Kasi si Kedenza na pa-block niya Yung flame shot ni Haji Gamit ang Guardians Bulwark Pero hindi na kita ninyo yung ibot na sa likod na pala nila Si Wise on to pakita 4-0-1 And mind you, if you are a new viewer of MLBB Esports. Why Stanley James Del Rosario Paquito? We don't see him play the Paquito often. So this is a yeah, uh, unique lang, experience eh, no? that we're seeing. Minsan lang talaga. And right now, 4-0-1 dito. Si Wise. Napakagaling talaga ni Wise. So, si Mr. Del Rosario na gumagamit ng mga hero na mahilig malapak. We know him first, Aldous, pero nananapak din naman si Paquito. Three people up top side for the side of Blackfish International. Nakapag-trade naman ang turret sa baba si Donut, pero Renegade taking a lot of damage. Hindi rin ng minions kahit papano. This is, uh, I think, another turret going to the hands of Blacklist International. The turret is already up. Here comes Dominic. They're going for Donut. Crossbow of Tang. Ginyang niyang overturn. Hindi tumaba. Ba't ito the damage? Coming here from Wise. Stun ay tumama, pero babagsak na rin si Donut. It's still a 4 v situation. Dominic is still alive, pero mukhang sasabog na nga. Apoy P siya. Very low HP. Gihilahin pa balik. And Diggy, traps will only get the Denza. Ureshi ang tatangke. And that is a trade won by Blacklist International. A 2 for 1 possible turtle as well for Blacklist. Oh, para makatawid sa late game, kailangan hindi mo matay na next play Evos. Well, obviously. Pero, kailangan din nila mag-build ng mga defensive items kasi sobrang sakit ng burst damage ng Blacklist International. Across the board, they have burst damage. The Paquito, the Fovies, pag nag-demonic force na siya. Hadji's uh, Kagura, and of course, Al na nakabuo na siya the ng Blade of Despair. Masasakit pa ang damage ng Blacklist International. Next play, Evos. Kailangan lang nila kumapit at makabuild ng items oh, nila. Here comes the Demonic Force, ano Donut. Mahihirap ang tumakas dito. Look at the damage. Baka pag-reset pa. Oh! Oh! No, denied by Dominic. And now, nag-spit push na lang si Renegade. Pero 5v3 naman nandito. Apple Fisha with the Heart Card. Boy, pares yung Reshi. Baka pag-reset niya. Kailangan ng Torek. That's one kill. Go to the rest of next play, Evos. At kailangan na mag-back ng Blacklist International. Wait lang, hindi pa pala tapos. They're going into the screen. Si Diggy, hinahanap. But look at the damage coming in from Owl. Owl! Nagahanap pa ng isa si Ureshi. Kailangan na mag-back. And that is one turret going to the hands of next play, Evos. Hindi na bagsaga ng inhibit on turret. Blacklist International with a great push. Good effort by Lagronio and Bataanon. Na muntikan na sila nung makuha ng double kill. Pero sakto sa pagbaba ni Apple Pisa from the heart guard ready ready si Al magpato ng quick draw munti ka na nga magpato mo doon si Del Rosario oh Blue si Villa Luna for the Aegis just in time clutch Aegis and of course Al with the quick draw and looking at the goal score, no, medyo may malaki na ang kalamangan ng Blacklist International. Pero wala pa namang nababasag na inhibitor turret. Then Rosario mukhang mga agaw muna na orange buff. Donut sumabog sa kamao. Si Cadenza na ata ang sunod. Dominic looking for another kill. Flame shot. Block by Apple Fisha. Nice play. Galing kay Kapitan Nelly Hayes at mid lane na ang call ng Blacklist International. Nagaanap sila ng pwede ng tapusin niya ba? Pero dalawa lang ang kanilang minions. Bukang kailangan na nila mag-back pero nagda-damage pa rin, nang popok pa rin ang kapupunan ng Blacklist International. Barcarce yung nahabol ni Del Rosario. Renjay getting chased here by Wise. Renjay safe. 
just being able to build now the Blade of Despair. High and dry, Cho. So, again, next play even thing. Kung makakapit lang sila makapag-defense up pa sila, seems like they might be able to turn things around. Again, malaking problema ang first damage na meron ang Blacklist International. The next play, Evos, making the most out of Ren J's split pushes. And this is a good call by NXPE na sa mga sitwasyon na to, kung meron ka namang split pusher na mobile, mabilis makabasag ng tore, pwede rin makatakas kung merong isa o dalawang maghahabol sa kanya. And this is what they have to do and this is a right thing. But now, Blacklist International, malapit na nila basagin ng isa pang inhibitor-based turret ng next play Evo. That's the second inhibitor turret for the side of Blacklist International. Bot lane na lamang natitira sa next play Evos at umaabot na nga ng almost 10k gold feed ang meron ng Blacklist International. Split push na lamang ang call ng next play Evos dahil may hihirapan silang manalo ng teamfights pero mukhang no choice na ata sila. With the Lord, marching down mid lane. This might be the GG push call. Coming in from Blacklist International. Here comes Cadenzo with the play. Walang matatamaan sa kanyang numinal blast. Hachi going in. Bakaila agad. CLA is Dominic doon sa backside. Donut! Bumagsak sa loob ng face. That's a double kill para kay Dominic. Lord, ay buhay pa rin. Dalawa na lang ang natitira. Si Remy Kane na lang ang natitira para mag-defend. Ahabulin pa rin ni Dominic. Habang ang Lord ang lumahang pa sa base. Game number two ay mapupunta sa Blacklist International. That is now a 2-0 lead for Blacklist International. A unique lineup by Next Play Evos. Again.